With three-fourths of the Earth's surface covered by liquid water and the human body consisting of two-thirds of it, it is undoubtedly clear that water is one of the key elements in nature responsible for life on Earth. Water moves through the land just as it does through living organisms. By circulating through living organisms, water transports, dissolves, and replenishes nutrients and organic matter while also carrying away waste material. All organisms require water to grow and reproduce. Because electrons are more concentrated around the oxygen atoms within water molecules, all water molecules are termed polar. The polarity of water molecules results in hydrogen bonds forming between them. The hydrogen bonds give water its seven key characteristics. Because of water's many different characteristics, all organisms are able to utilize it to continue survival on Earth. Water is a solvent because things dissolve in it quickly and easily. This is caused by hydrogen bonds within it that pull the solute apart. An example of when this characteristic of water is useful is when airborne, an immune system supporter that keeps us healthy, is dissolved in a glass of water. Water has a high specific heat because the hydrogen bonds between water molecules are weak and temporary. This causes the water molecules to constantly be breaking apart. Because the molecules are constantly breaking apart, it takes more energy to heat up water than it does a solid, such as a metal pan. Water is both cohesive and adhesive. Cohesion means that the molecules within water stick to one another, while adhesion means water molecules stick to other surfaces. An example of this is when water moves upward from the roots of a tree through the vascular system, providing the rest of the tree with water and other essential nutrients. Surface tension of water allows it to beat up as water droplets on different surfaces. This occurs because water molecules cohere to one another through hydrogen bonds. An example of this can be seen with water droplets beating up on the surface of a leaf. Variable levels of pH occur in water because of different amounts of hydrogen. If there is too much hydrogen, the pH level becomes acidic, and if there is too little hydrogen, the pH level becomes basic. Dissociation is when a water molecule splits apart into smaller atoms due to the forces of adjacent hydrogen bonds. Water has three different physical states, liquid, solid, and gas. When water is liquid, it has randomly placed hydrogen bonds that connect water molecules to one another. These randomly placed hydrogen bonds are shorter than the hydrogen bonds between water molecules when it is in solid form. In solid form, the hydrogen bonds are arranged in an organized lattice formation. Water becomes gas when there is enough heat to break the many hydrogen bonds that connect the water molecules to one another. For this reason, gas is a least dense form of the three physical states of water.